Of all the understatements and mischaracterizations of the tech world, probably the most ignominious is the point upgrade. No matter how many major improvements they've contained, updates like the bump from Android 4.3 to 4.4 and BlackBerry 10.1 to 10.2 have always seemed somehow less impressive due to their minuscule numeric promotion. And that's more true than ever before with Windows Phone 8.1. From the introduction of a native voice assistant to some long overdue interface overhauls, Microsoft's new software brings sorely needed modernization to its smartphone platform, and we're here to show you how it looks and tell you how well it works. I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now, and this is our video review of Windows Phone 8.1. Microsoft editor Adam Lane and I have spent six days trialing Windows Phone 8.1 on a Nokia Lumia icon provided to us by Microsoft. As a disclaimer, the software we've been using is obviously pre-release, and it doesn't include the improvements coming with Nokia's Lumia Cyan update later this season. We cover only the major changes in this video. For a more in-depth look at Windows Phone 8.1, see our full review at Pocket Now, linked in the description below. Probably the first thing you notice when powering on a Windows Phone 8.1 device is the revamped start screen. 8.1 continues the trend of offering an added column of tiles, and it also introduces the capability of custom graphics instead of the old monoblock colors. Rather than just being painted on the tiles, though, your graphic actually floats behind them. This change makes many of the default tiles essentially transparent, and finally gives Windows Phone its own form of wallpaper, without sacrificing that look that makes it so instantly recognizable or the live tile functionality that makes it so useful. The transitions between screens have also been slightly tweaked, with tightened animations making the whole thing feel zippier and resurrecting some of that hip modernity first brought by Windows Phone 7 four years ago. Sadly, not all of the original intention has survived intact. The signal strength and battery life indicators, which used to elegantly slide out of the way when not needed, are now displayed more often than not, a change we don't think was necessary. Also, some of the more beautiful and simple corners of Windows Phone have been sacrificed in the name of features. The new Photos Hub no longer has that gorgeous panoramic image behind it. Those new volume sliders offer more control, but at the expense of some simplicity. The Music and Videos Hub has been completely removed, along with its accompanying live tile. Windows Phone is still quite distinctive, but bit by bit, its visually centric nature is being chipped away in favor of a features first mentality that better resembles its competitors. That resemblance, though, is more than welcome in the area of notifications. Aggregating alerts has always been a pain point with the Windows Phone experience, live tiles notwithstanding, and it's an issue Microsoft has finally addressed in 8.1 with Action Center, a pull-down shade containing system toggles alongside a unified list of notifications grouped by app. You can choose which apps are displayed in the Notification Center, and in the same settings screen you can even set customizable alert sounds for things like different email accounts, another feature we've been waiting a long time for. And while we have a few qualms, we'd like to have seen it placed elsewhere other than up top, and we'd like the ability to dismiss individual messages instead of entire categories, we'll gladly live with those limitations. Because at the end of the day, it's a Notification Center in Windows Phone that works well. And that alone is reason to celebrate. Speaking of features inspired by other platforms, Microsoft's new Voice Assistant finally breaks cover in version 8.1, replacing the old Bing functionality of the capacitive search button down below, and enhancing it with device-wide search and other modern touches. In terms of her vocal presence, Cortana is fortunately more than just a clever Halo-inspired name. In day-to-day -day use, she feels about as smart as Siri first did on the iPhone 4S, allowing you to set reminders and alarms, perform searches, voice style, and so on. She's something of a blend of Siri and Google Now, with the personality of the former and some of the power of the latter, with some very useful Microsoft touches. Cortana's notebook allows you to customize exactly what she knows about you, and her third-party plugins mean you can ask her to read the news, for example. NBC News headlines. Reading headlines. Headlines for top stories. Most challenging hunt ever. Commander breaks down jet obstacles. Sebelius, Obamacare timeline was flat out wrong. Race to or contact someone using a specific app. Sure thing. Calling Anton Dinavi. 
She also plugs into Bing's music search so you can identify a mystery track playing at your favorite dive. And she can also provide specific reminders for specific people the next time you talk to them. The next time I talk to Taylor Martin, remind me to ask him where I can get a sweet hat like his. Okay, next time you talk to Taylor Martin, I can remind you to ask about his new hat. Sound good? Yes. If you're in a loud environment, you can also type your commands rather than speaking them. And if you opt to give Cortana a live tile, she'll periodically throw up headlines and other relevant info. Cortana's definitely still in the beta phase. Again, she's a lot like early Siri in terms of how well she understands voice input, and some of the features she relies on, like maps, still have some annoying limitations. Show me the closest Dunkin' Donuts. Also, it's sadly no easier to text by voice in Windows Phone. There's still no punctuation support and the system still cuts you off if you even take a breath. Microsoft says Cortana's functionality and reliability will grow with use. For now, she has a lot of growing up to do, but she still adds a lot of convenience to the Windows Phone experience and she's worlds better than what we've seen on the platform up to this point. While most higher-end Windows phones will likely continue to ship with the professional-grade Nokia camera app, Microsoft can't afford to ignore the non-Nokia segment of its lineup, particularly with so many new OEMs coming aboard. As such, the stock Windows phone camera app has been given a facelift, with a button layout that makes more sense, and a burst mode option too. The photos you take are now organized into collections in the gallery based on location and date, Though, again, we wish Microsoft had managed to retain that beautiful panoramic photo design from the previous version. Behind the scenes cleanup and enhancement is a huge part of the 8.1 update. And while the list is covered more extensively in our full review at PocketNow, here's some of our favorites. The excellent DataSense app now has some company in the form of Wi-Fi Sense, which logs into familiar or free networks on your behalf and also lets you share your own access point without also sharing your password. Storage Sense lets you see what apps are taking up space on your device. Battery Saver functions as a kind of power sense, allowing you to see which apps use the most battery and also allowing you to govern which are allowed to run in the background. And if swiping rather than tapping makes more sense to you, Microsoft's WordFlow keyboard is here, and it works quite well even if you're an old-timer not used to that newfangled swipe input. The People Hub was early on one of our favorite aspects of Windows Phone, but it fell out of favor over the years as its functionality lagged behind the social networks it depended on. Well, with 8.1, the Hub has been, for lack of a better word, platformized, meaning tapping on an update brings you right to the app of the network it came from. That means more features and more abilities brought more quickly. We no longer need to wait for Windows Phone upgrades to enhance the People Hub. They'll come when the third-party apps which plug into it are updated. And in the same vein, sharing media has been rethought to better resemble the Android paradigm. You're given a list of apps, and you're taken directly to them to share. But once developers update their apps to take advantage of the new framework, this will be a very welcome change. And speaking of app updates, they can be set to automatic now, one of the many such enhancements sprinkled throughout the OS. These enhancements help take the edge off some of the weaknesses of the platform, some of which persist. The mediocrity of Internet Explorer compared to competitors, the confusing inclusion of two maps options, neither of which work terribly well, at least here in the States, and, yes, the app gap which has narrowed tremendously over the past year, but which is still very visible in areas like gaming, where iOS and Android continue to boast a commanding lead. A comprehensive list of improvements would take many videos this length, which brings us back to our first point. Don't judge an upgrade by its point value. While this iteration doesn't reinvent the wheel, that's a good thing. We've always liked the clean, modern look and feel of Windows Phone, it was the gaps in functionality that we often took exception to. Version 8.1 fills an awful lot of those gaps, while preserving the soul of the platform's design and its glanceable information aesthetic. We'd have liked to have seen many of these improvements come sooner, but as they say, better late than never. Our numeric score will be available in the full review linked in the description below. 
But those still wondering about Windows Phone's viability in the modern world can stop wondering. Version 8.1 isn't just a solid upgrade, it's the first incarnation of Windows Phone to feel complete enough to tempt people away from competitors. That in and of itself makes 8.1 probably the most significant Windows Phone update ever, and it makes us more hopeful than ever for the future of this platform.